I must speak with Morgana to go where she wishes. The living flesh poses a hindrance, but I must, I must go for our aura. That intro was way less cool than it was in the first game. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Dot Hack Mutation, the second in a series of four JRPGs developed by uh, CyberConnect Corporation and published by, I guess back then they were just Bandai, not even Namco Bandai, or Bandai Namco, or whatever they call themselves. So I'm going to be, whoops. Memory, memory card one. We'll do that. Um, I'm going to be converting... Uh, 23, 24. Um, we're going to be converting over our save game from the first game, which I did a let's play of prior to this one. And we're going to be kicking off from here. Um, I think we get a little quick recap. Here we go. The day that he first played the world. His friend Orca fell into a deep coma as a result of Skate's data drain. The world isn't just an online game. Something with another purpose is lurking within it. The Book of Twilight, handed to him by the girl Aura, transformed into a bracelet, giving him two extraordinary powers. Data Drain, the power to alter monster data. And Gate Hacking, which allows him to gain entrance into protected areas. And it was these very same powers that put Orca into a coma. I want to help Orca. With the help of the bracelet, he and his party succeeded in destroying Skaith. However... Really digging the music in the background of the scene, by the way.
come so far, but we knew so little. And now, the true battle was about to begin. Oh boy, this game is so cheesy. <laughs> oh, the voice acting just, like, ruins the whole thing. Alright, so here we are. Um, that was a quick recap of everything that happened in the previous game. Uh, basically, to sum it up, we are playing a character who's playing an online game. So, like, this is our desktop or our computer that we're looking at. And we do things like uh, we can change the background music, which right now is the boss battle music versus Scathe. Um, we can change our desktop background because that's an important thing too, right? Uh, we can read the news and we can check our email. Uh, and we can get emails to and from our friends and all sorts of stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, this episode is largely probably going to be recap stuff, like reading news and reading emails and then like going through the forums to see what's new there. So you have been warned in advance. Uh, we'll start with the news because that's the least interesting aspect of the game, in my opinion. Uh, at least for now. Soulnet dominates network. Recent sales figures show that Soulnet now controls 58.7% of the domestic network user market. Analysts theorize this stems from the low fees Soulnet charges compared to its rivals and the ongoing network communication monopoly. Critics allege these fees will rise dramatically once Soulnet share reaches 60%. Yeah, so um, also keep in mind this, play, this game is originally from Japan. If you couldn't tell by the fantastically horrible voice acting. Um, it's originally from Japan, so it, a lot of the, the news and stuff is written as it would pertain to Japan, right? Like, they don't necessarily have network monopolies that are as crazy as, uh, as like, Time Warner Cable and Comcast are here in the United States for us. So some of the stuff is a little off uh, for us American players. For me, I'm an American. Game Coma Impossible says, Professor, we'll come back to that one. Uh, International Geographic discontinued. I'm sure that is in no way related to the National Geographic magazine. Uh, the world famous magazine, which began publication in 1911, announced it will cease operations following next month's issue. Industry folk and writers immediately expressed sadness and disappointment over the news. The magazine, which during its best years sold 1 million copies a month, holy cow, that's a lot, will publish its last volume just short of its 100th anniversary. Readership had de steadily declined during the past decade, and sales recently dropped to as low as 20,000 to 30,000 per month. Play Road, the famous gentleman's magazine established over 50 years ago, also recently closed its doors. As subscribers increasingly turn online for their information, the print industry has struggled to maintain sales and advertising revenues, and it's believed the International Geographic announcement is only the beginning of an industry-wide downturn for print media. Yeah, so look at that. Topical and cultural for like 10, 15 years ago. Uh, okay, Game Coma Impossible. This one seems maybe a bit more relevant because our friend got put into a coma from playing this game. And he's not the only one. We know of a couple others. Um, Daisuke Makanochi, professor at Tokyo Technical University who specializes in brain function, stated recently he believes there is no possibility that playing games could induce a comatose state in its players. Famous scientists scoffed at the notion, calling such claims incredible exaggerations. Some have suggested these incidents are related to the worst computer virus in history, Deadly Flash, which affected millions and resulted in seven deaths back in 2003. Following the prominent scientists' statements, some have expressed relief over the issue and said they plan to return to the world. The world being the game we're playing, Deadly Flash being a virus that has been mentioned a couple times. It's something nasty that happened a few years ago in this world of the dot .hack games and stuff. So we don't really know a lot about it. I think it's fleshed out and explained a bit more in the animes. Um, I think I, I think they'll talk about it a bit more in this game too. Well, not this game, but like this franchise in one of these three remaining games that we're playing. Um, at Makino Hospital, 
in Kanazawa City. A patient who fell comatose is still hospitalized in stable condition. According to the hospital chief, they are no closer to determining the cause, so some speculate that his condition could be genetic. So that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and read our emails now. So, I'll um, start at the bottom, work our way up. CC Corporation, they have patched the game, so here's some patch notes for you. There's now a flag race with Grunties. And that's it. So, hooray! Another email telling us the same thing. You can go to the Grunty Ranch and you can race your Grunties. <laughs> um, and then Black Rose and Mistral were the two who joined us in the boss fight at the end of the last game, so we get emails kind of kicking things off from them here. Um, Black Rose, is this for real? I thought once we got the thing with the red wand, everything would be solved. It was baseless, but... I thought everything would go back to normal. What did we do? Was what we did right? I'm not wrong, right? Ah, uh, right, wrong, wrong. Right? So we can respond, and we can say, I hope so. There's no point being negative about it, let's just believe in ourselves. Or, I don't know. I don't know either, I think it's all falling apart. That's maybe a bit too negative, we're gonna go with the more positive one here. I hope so. I mean... Like... We want to help the people who are falling into comas. My friend Orca specifically, Yasuhiko. So there's no point in doubting ourselves. We need to help him, right? So yeah, that's good. Uh, and then Mistral, who is... I love Mistral. She's so goofy. All the characters in this game are goofy. I love the characters. Um, cool! I didn't know they had monsters like that. Let's play again! Just referring to Scape. Yeah, later. I'll email you when I need your help. Or not right now. I don't have time to play. No, we'll, we'll go with the more happy, positive one, of course. Yeah, cool. I'll let you know when I need your help again. Because Mist Mistral doesn't know anything about, like, the bracelet and data drains. Um, she knows that we have some sort of, like, crazy special attack that we can do that she's never seen before. But she doesn't know anything about, like, the comas, or scathe, or data bugs, or, like, any of what's actually driving us. So, <laughs> to her, it's just like, whoa, that was a cool monster, let's go find another one. Alright. So, logging into the world, um, I'm not actually going to log into the world itself. We're going to go dig through the message boards. Uh, it looks like there's not a ton of stuff in here. So we'll start on the virus one. Um, there was a post in the last game here. Kind of worried. There have been some weird problems ever since last server problem. I wonder what's up. Some people say it's a virus. So uh, it looks like there's a bunch more conversation going on in this thread. So we'll go ahead and check it out. Screen noise. My computer froze and I logged back in, but it was totally weird. Or, but it looked totally weird. It wasn't normal. There was noise on the screen. And there was this really loud sound. Did that happen to everyone or just me? Was it like a scream? I heard it too. I thought my computer just went bust. Kinda glad I'm not the only one. Isn't that like really bad? There's just been a lot of problems lately, especially with what happened the other day and this time around. They should have some kind of response. And other people's PCs had that noise too? I wonder if it has to do with the soundboard on the system. Mine came with it. That's beside the point. My PC had that sound too, and the noise as well. I thought it broke. I doubt a virus is the cause. I wonder what's going to happen now. I better not have to reformat my hard drive, or there will be bloodshed. Yep, you, you get one of those in every, every message board. Virus, I wonder what they'll do. Um, I think this is related to the anime. Like, I think... I don't think this is our doing. It, who knows? It might have been Scathe. Who, who the hell knows? But I, I am fairly certain that's related to the dot .hack liminality anime that came with the game here. Each There's four episodes of the anime, and there's uh, four dot .hack games. And each one of the games came with one of the anime videos. I've talked about that a lot in the previous Let's Play. But, um, okay, Ultimate. So, new version. There's a new version of the operating system. What the hell? I thought it was perfect. That's kind of what's been going on here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Isn't it the first since the Twilight of the New Gods? What was that again? The Nibelung's Ring? Wagner? 
Siegfried. Um, they recall the three years between Pluto's kiss and the time they moved everything to Ultimate when the regular network was constructed. Pluto's kiss being some sort of super nasty computer virus. So between when that happened and when Ultimate was kind of built and, and made into the like official operating system uh, and tied into like all the networking stuff in Japan or whatever country they're expecting this to take place in. Um, during those three years, it was called the Twilight of the New Gods. So, um, so when they're saying, hey, like they just updated Ultimate, isn't that, or uh, the rumor is there's a company developing a new operating system that's not Ultimate. Wouldn't that be the first new operating system other than Ultimate since Twilight of the New Gods? So like, there's no competition. So somebody building a new one, like that's a big deal. And then like, oh, what was the Twilight of the New Gods? While well, you're mentioning it, um, do, 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 do. Time they moved everything to Ultimate when the regular network was restricted. Yeah, they locked down networks and put them under control of basically the government, I think, to prevent uh, like viruses from being a, as big of an issue as they were. I guess they wanted some cool name for the net culture that bloomed in the end of the last century. Europeans like liberal arts-ish ways of explaining things. That's why they went with Twilight of the New Gods. Yeah, um, Pluto's kiss was bad. It was like a countdown to the end of the world. I mean, the Pentagon's host computer was hit, missiles were about to go off, right? And geez, wasn't it like some 10-year-old kid who did it? Yeah, so we're kind of getting hints to some of the the lore surrounding the world. And like, the world that us playing the game live in, and also the world, the game, and just kind of the environment that it's all existing in. Kind of cool, I love that stuff. So, network safety law. Um, there was some sort of... Uh... Oh, yes. So there was talk about they want to reform the network safety law, which basically imposes the death penalty on hackers. Uh, so the person responsible for creating Pluto's Kiss, that nasty computer virus... Ooh, maybe the person responsible for the deadly flash. I don't know. There's been a couple of really nasty computer viruses. Somebody is on trial for one of them uh, and is has been sentenced to death and is awaiting execution. While that's going on, um, there are talks about pulling the death penalty clause out of the network safety law um, so that they don't have to kill people. They're, they've decided like, okay, maybe that was an extreme knee-jerk reaction. Maybe we should take that line out of the law. Um, I'm against reform. You can't say it's just a computer virus. People did die from it, you know? We know the dangers of cyber terrorism from Pluto's Kiss and Deadly Flash. Yeah, so those are the two big nasty viruses that happened. Um, Pluto's Kiss led to kind of a restructuring of the entire network and all of the computer infrastructure and the ultimate operating system. And then Deadly Flash, I think, came after that and led to the network safety law and the death penalty and those sorts of things. So I'm against cheap reform. Who cares? I don't think it matters if they reform it or not. Ultimate is a perfect OS, right? You don't have to worry about cyber terrorism or computer virus. Ah. People on the internet. International Geographic being discontinued? Yep, yeah. uh, we just read about this one. Is it the Times? A 100-year-old liberal arts magazine. But uh, I didn't know about it at all. I guess it's the Times. You can get comics online as well. My dad was solemnly listening to the news. Apparently, he was a liberal arts major and wanted to become an author. That was a side of my dad I've never seen before. That's touching. Okay, and then the last one. New version upgrade. So, with the patch... Um... <laughs> hey! Here's a post telling you about the patch. We'll talk about it below this one. In the next post. So... Uh, flag race. So we'll be able to race Grunties. That, we'll deal with that later. So time to log into the world and just see what is going on with everybody. See if we bump into any of our friends. Okay, let's go! We are going to the Dungeon of Theta! Chosen hopeless nothingness to find out what happened. It feels icky leaving it hanging like this. Theta Chosen Hopeless Nothingness is the area where we fought Scathe, the nasty monster with the giant red wand who data drained Orca into oblivion and a coma. 
And uh, yeah, that's where we ended the last one. So uh, the last Let's Play was in there. Um, but we're in a new game, so I'm going to be able to like run around and trade with people and get a whole bunch of new stuff. Right, level 17 Slayers, level 14 Wand, level 41 Leg Armor. Rajuk Zot, level 2 Wood, and Meru Zot, level 2 Water. So, uh, there's a bunch of stuff to do. Um, for our items, we have some stuff. I'm going to want to get some more stuff for actually trading. I'm probably going to want to trade out all of our level 1 spells, because they're only level 1. Like, we're going to be getting level 2 and level 3, and probably even level 4 stuff before too long. Um, all... I'm not going to worry about that too much just yet. We'll probably do a couple dungeons before I really hit the trading heavy. Um, we can run around and see what our Grunties have to trade. I don't think they have any new dialogue, although I also don't think I've exhausted all of their dialogue. Master, how may I serve you? Clang! <laughs> I love Iron Grunty. Clang! We do have an Aromatic Grass. Level 28 Forester Helm, level 33 Stormlord Helm, and level 38 Midnight Helm. That sounds pretty cool. Repth and Riptain. Uh, let's, let's talk to you. Master, I've missed you, Clang! Shall we trade, Clang? Oh, Master, the armor I wear is from my previous Master, Clang! My Master, my back is not a beetle, Clang! I think that's all he has to say. My master! Yeah. I love the Grunties. Um... So, I guess the last thing I'm gonna do before we wrap things up, we do have some epitaphs, we have Harold's Notes, uh, we have the Book of Law, Book of, Book of Iron, which, uh... Uh, prize for the one-year anniversary power-up campaign, we couldn't use it, it said character overwrite was forbidden. Book of Iron, amazing item that will negate enemy attacks. It was kind of forced upon us by someone who was originally trying to sell it to Mistral. And, uh, same thing, we can't use it, says character overwrite forbidden. Um, we have the Imp's Pin, that was from playing Goblin Tag. The Grunty Flute, that'll let us summon a Grunty out in the field. Uh, we have to be on Theta server to do that. We have all our Grunty Foods couple of virus cores. Um, I'm going to go through all of our Ryu books real quick because we're in the new game and I'm sure we've done enough things that we're probably going to hit the limit on like half these books already without even playing anything. That's a fun animation. We'll watch it once. Over 60 areas visited, so we got a new background music. Over 20 hours played. So we get a, another movie that we can't watch until after we finish the game. Uh, 450 enemy magic portals open, so we got a new image. We got new background music. New movie. Another new image. Another new background music. So yeah, we're getting all sorts of good customization for our PC. This is uh, this game's equivalence of like achievements or trophies. Uh, so this is for our... Oh, just other players that we've encountered. So we've encountered... Look at, And it's red already, so that means we've already maxed it out. Still, what we did, what we maxed out in the first game, is enough to max out everything in the second game also. <laughs> Movie. New background. New background music. Another movie. Uh, and we're already done with this book. And we haven't even met any new people in this game yet. Monsters? I don't think... Yeah, we haven't done enough to get anything new here. Um, our friends? This is how much... Uh, the value of all the stuff that we've gifted to them, and I give my friends crap all the time in this game. So, not a surprise that we're also over the limit on this one. Um, got statues. We're probably going to have enough for, like, uh, items that are broken. Yeah, tre uh, boxes, bones, and etc. that have been broken. And then we also have treasure boxes that have been opened. That's maxed out as well. I, I'm kind of surprised by that. We 
We do need to open way more of the got statue treasure boxes, though. Springs of Mist. Um, so we need to go hunt down Monsieur and Grandpa quite a bit more. Um, symbols we're actually doing really good on. Cool, so we're just barely over the, the limit on symbols. Not bad, considering we haven't even started playing the game yet. Uh, and then for Grunty Foods, we've obtained a lot of Grunty Food. So I guess I'm not terribly surprised that we got that one. We don't have any new Grunties yet, so we're not going to get anything here. Uh, I don't even know if you can get something. Maybe like in the fourth game when you've gotten all the Grunties. Um... Yeah, I think that's good for now. We will actually dive in and play the game for real in the next video, so thank you all for joining me, and may the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you.